happy Halloween everybody so the pumpkin workout there's four exercises I'm going to show you all four of them and do 10 reps of each exercise the four exercises I will demonstrate for you now with my pumpkin it's kind of an ugly pumpkin but it will do the job it's still a pumpkin okay so the first exercise is going to be basically pumpkin pickups. So you're going to squat down, pick up the pumpkin, stand up, and hold it over your head. And then repeat. So here we go. For the pumpkin pickups, stand with your feet, shoulder width apart, and the pumpkin between your feet. When you squat down, do not allow your knees to go past your toes and make sure you sit your butt back. You're shooting for a 90 degree angle at your knees. Then you'll stand straight up and bring that pumpkin straight up over your head. As you can see from the side view, your knees should not go forward so that they go past your toes. Mine are not. And this is how you should look. Okay, so that was exercise one. Now, exercise two is a l our lunges with um, holding the pumpkin over your head. Here we go. Start standing straight up with your pumpkin held over your head. Then you will take a step forward with one of your legs and bend both knees so that they go to 90 degrees. Do not let that front knee go past your toes, just like with the squat. Also, do not let that back knee whack off the ground, because that will hurt. <laughs> um, and remember to alternate your legs. This is your pumpkin lunge. All right, so we've got that. Now, for exercise number three, we're going to be doing uh, core work. So we'll be doing um, a pumpkin twist. It's like a Russian twist, but you're holding a pumpkin. Okay, here we go. For the pumpkin twist, you'll be sitting on the ground with your feet on the ground as well. And you'll lean back, engaging your core. Then you will twist from side to side bringing your pumpkin from the right side to the left side, making a figure eight. Going from right to left is one. So count your reps every time you turn to the right. Also, if you wanna make this harder, you can pick your feet up so that they are parallel to the ground. Have fun. Oh, okay, so. The fourth and final workout is gonna get our arms. We're gonna do an alternately raised pumpkin push-up so you're, you're off center. So one hand will be on the pumpkin and one hand will be on the ground. Um, you can do this on your, from your toes or from your knees and make sure your core is engaged. So here we go, I'll show you what we do. One hand on the pumpkin, one hand on the ground. So the technical name for this is called a staggered push-up, where you have one hand up higher than the other hand. With this push-up, it's just like a regular one where you go up and down, your hands are just in different places. Now, make sure that when you're doing this, that you um, alternate hands, so five reps with each hand on the pumpkin, and also, that you keep your core engaged so you're a nice straight line. Don't let your belly or back sag as I start to in this video. When you do that, drop to your knees. All right, so I just did 10 reps for exercise. See this, we got our legs, we got our arms, we got our core, got our back, total body baby with our pumpkin. And uh, it was fun. So. You can do it one time through, you can challenge yourself, and I would shoot for three times through, ideally. But whatever you have time for, doesn't matter. 
have fun. That's all that matters. Okay, so go find a pumpkin and uh, get your workout on.